Hello everybody, I will be talking a little bit about what we know about the PlayStation 5 that is set to release sometime in uh, the fourth quarter next year in 2020 and um, the price will probably <clears throat> be in around uh, $500 and uh, we don't know that for sure we don't know the dimensions for it but we know that the CPU processor for the PlayStation 5 will be an AMD Ryzen Zen 2 8 cores and 16 threads and 3.2 gigahertz also uh, 86 to 64 bit or 32 to 64 bit I'm sorry and the GPU will be a custom Radeon Navi and it will probably be uh, between 12.6 to 14.2 teraflops according to uh, Mike Kearney the memory will be allegedly 24 gigabytes total with uh, 20 gigs being a GDDR6 at 880 gigabyte per second and uh, 4 gigs DDR4 RAM for the operating uh, system and the storage will probably be around two terabytes um, I'm thinking it should be more I'll tell you a little bit about that in a little bit and we uh, we know that the, the storage type will be SSD and probably featuring the two terabytes like I said and they have not confirmed if it will be an optical output but um, I think that's likely that it will be especially if you're going to use the PlayStation 5 to uh, watch movies and uh, connect it to your sound system of course it's not confirmed either if it's going to be Wi-Fi but we can all bet that uh, it's it will be Wi-Fi uh, they have also said that the PlayStation 5 will be sporting the highest speed broadband ever known so we'll see about that and we don't know about uh, if it has uh, an um, HDMI output but probably again it will have we don't know the power but we do know that the resolution will support 8k and that no games released for the PlayStation 5 will be under a 4k resolution so that's um, that's quite a leap that they are upscaling that to 8k we don't know the uh, what kind of USB port it will be featuring if it will be the current USB 3.0 port or uh, if it will be a higher generation of uh, USB port and of course it will also support uh, PlayStation Virtual but uh, yeah let's get back to it a little bit of what I think that their problems is the problem is that when they're upscaling it to uh, to 8K resolution and um, with combined with these specs, the games will will uh, will be around 100 to 150 gigabyte per piece, right per game. And today, to present day, the games are running at about 50 gigabytes per uh, per disc. So they're going to have to work on on that to find something that can going to support that high uh, that much of a, spa a storage space on the game discs if they're going to run discs which I assume they will but uh, rumors has it that uh, Sony is working with Panasonic to figure this out to create something uh, something better than what they have now and the storage type two terabytes SSD maybe maybe it will be enough but uh, uh, it could also be likely that they're going to upscale that uh, but again the pro uh, the pro with the SSD is that it's going to reduce load time significantly I mean like um, the load time for fast travel in, uh, um, on spider-man is about 15 seconds on the current system 
and when they run the run the test on uh, PlayStation Five, the load time for fast travel in the same game was only 0.8 seconds. So that's a um, significant um, improvement. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's about it what, of what we know about uh, the PlayStation Five for now. I'm saying that the cost will be around five hundred dollars based on that um, uh, based on the production cost. If you look back on the production cost for PlayStation Four in uh, 2013, the production cost was around three hundred and eighty one dollars per unit, and that is uh, based on the cost for materials and the cost for assembly and so on, making it that uh, profit for Sony on the PlayStation 4 was about $18 per unit sold. Um, and I think it will be something similar with the PlayStation 5. And of course, the production cost will increase with these new specs. And um, so, yeah, I think that that's going to be the bet that uh, it will probably be around four hundred and eighty dollars or so to produce and um, it will be sold for 500 that's that's my current prediction and uh, also we've seen that other experts is predicting the same but yeah let's keep holding our breath for this to release and see what's going to happen when it comes regarding the um, gpu and the cpu and these specs it will create a more lively um, game graphics much much better than what we have today uh, and it will, we're going to be we're going to be able to feel more more real playing in the game and it's also going to be some significant improvements regarding um, regarding uh, the sound so uh, yeah yeah that's pretty much what we know about these uh, specs so how so so far and can't wait to see when uh, when uh, we um, we will see the, the the last of the specs. We also don't know the the power uh, of the PlayStation Five. Like the current power for the PlayStation Four Pro is at 310 watts max, and this will probably be running a little higher than 310 watts, regarding um, regarding the specs we know that's going to be in it. Um yeah that's about it so uh, i hope you enjoy this like this is a i guess this is like a video i'm making or yeah uh, uh, to just be able to inform you guys out there of what's happening and uh, what we can expect and i'll be posting more videos about playstation 5 uh, as we get more information about it so uh, stay tuned and uh, if you like this video like subscribe and please comment uh, if there is anything else you want to be taken up for the next video peace out